Hello, and welcome to the Butterfly Sage. Now that it's finally fall, we are going to do a fall fairy garden. And we're gonna keep it simple. We're basically working with mums and ornamental peppers with a few pumpkins, mini pumpkins, and mini gourds thrown in. The first things first, we gotta make sure that our container has holes, which this one doesn't. So my husband is going to drill some in for me. Okay, now that it's got the holes, we gotta add the dirt. A little tip, if you are not as strong, to pick up a bag of dirt, get some small empty pot, and scoop the dirt into the small pot and then pour the dirt from the pot into the container. I have done that before. This bag is only half full, so I think I can do it. Doing it without spilling it is an entirely different matter. I got a little too full. Okay, maybe more than a little. So the first plant we're gonna put in is this beautiful ornamental pepper with these bright orange and yellow colors. And this one is called Acapulco, <laughs> Acapulco Orange. This one back. Okay, so this next one I'm going to plant is your basic annual mum. It is called a ball mum, and it is the name of this one is called Perfectly Orange. And as you can see, I've got quite a few buds left. And I may rearrange where I'm putting these. This next one is another ball mum. This one is called Sundance Yellow. I'm not gonna put it in yet because I'm just kind of playing with where I want their little fairy house. And that's a lot bigger than I expected next to that. I think I like it over here. Yeah, I think I like it over here. what we're gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna glue a little fairy door under this pumpkin for it to be a house so let's plant this Sundance yellow I just want to say I'm sorry if you hear my livestock guardian dog bark throughout this video I edited out as much as I possibly could I was trying to figure out why she was barking so much that day and it turns out we heard from a neighbor the next day that there was a bear that went through their yard so she knew it was there. It is time to glue the little fairy door. So these are all of the doors to choose from. And this one. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this one out because it looks too spring. I mean, I'm not gonna throw it out just for this one. Same with this one. So, it's down to these. So it's got mushrooms on it, so it kind of has that fall look. It's a maybe. This one's definitely got the little fairy look. And then there's this Celtic looking one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So what we're using to glue it with, this is just wood glue. Now normally I would recommend uh, E6000, but I am out of my E6000. I thought I had some, 
but I could not find it. So I'm just going to use wood glue today. Ah, there goes my pumpkin. I should probably be called the klutzy gardener. That's probably what my name should be. All right, hopefully you can guys can see this better. So I am just going to use the stick to get it out since it's not flowing freely. As you can see, I don't use glue very often. is dry enough so let's put it in okay so while my dog was barking I proceeded to go ahead and glue the house on this gourd I'm gonna see if I like this or this mushroom house but <laughs> let's see It's not quite dry enough. Do I like that? Or do I like... I think I like... I don't know. What do you guys vote? What would you vote for in the comments? And I think it needs a little more color. Right here. And I'm not sure what type it is. It just says it's sorted. Okay, so now it's time to put our little mini fairy figurines. We got a cute little boy with a squirrel, which I think is perfect for fall. Let's see if we look right here. Okay, and then we have this little girl on top of this snail. This is kind of a big one though, so this one might not work for this. I'm not sure. I think she might be too big. How does that look? Can you still see the snail head? That'll work, I think. That might be too much. I might rethink that. So it is fall. So we've got some mushrooms that we're harvesting. A little bird bath for the birds. There, I think I like it like that. mushroom harvest let's see if we can build a little pathway from house to house with what I've got around me so let's do make it I just have some mulch chips Not sure any fairy garden would be complete without some moss. Let's see. These pumpkins may be too big. They are mini pumpkins, but they still might be a little too big. You 
Yeah, it kind of hides the little boy. <laughs> I think it might be a bit much. Kind of cute there. I think I like this here. So, let's try it here. Yeah, I think it might be a bit much. I'll put them on the back side. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the back side. The gourd house and a couple pumpkins with a couple little bit of moss. So that way, if somebody sees it from the back, it's not completely empty <laughs> below. Now I have it. So all of these plants, these ornamental peppers and the mums, they're all full sun. I might play around with it later. I think this is pretty cute. Our fall fairy garden house. I think I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you would have done something differently. Added the pumpkins, take away this house, add the gourd in the front, or only just have the pumpkin house completely. Let me know what you would have done. So thanks for watching. And until next time, feed the pollinators for me.